For those who haven't bought a Tesla yet, I advise you to consider carefully. In temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees, the range may not be as expected. I have the latest winter range ranking for electric cars, and I must commend BRD for their excellent battery management technology. Since this is a test, it's not just about range. After all, it's minus 30 degrees. There might be other issues with electric cars in such conditions, such as acceleration, braking, and autopilot, including cabin heating and air conditioning. Today's video tells you from start to finish that during the 100 kilometer acceleration test, some cars experienced wheel slip, affecting acceleration results, which is normal. However, since some cars couldn't brake and the braking system failed, I think this issue really needs attention. Also, autopilot is truly the ultimate test in icy and snowy conditions. The test was conducted during both daytime and nighttime, and Tesla performed quite well in this regard, passing the test perfectly. Some brands obviously were not as successful. Charging electric cars is usually a normal thing in daily life, and there shouldn't be any issues. However, in low temperature environments, some brands have excessively long charging times or even charging failures. Dare to think about more test results? You can directly go to the main car dealership and search for new energy vehicles. After watching this episode, I noticed a pattern. Most of the problematic models are those that were just launched in the past year. I just want to ask, do you not conduct any tests before launching these models? Or do you conduct tests, find issues, and still sell them? I just hope that the models that had issues this year won't encounter the same problems next year during the car show.